Hi Cloud Gamers, we're back again with a news update and we have updates for Boosteroid, PlayStation Plus, Stadia and xCloud. So let's get stuck in. We will start with Boosteroid and they have added 20 games to their library this week. The list includes a number of big games including Fall Guys, Monster Hunter Rise, Command & Conquer Remastered, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Vampire Survivors. It is a real impressive, not only um, the amount of games, but the calibre of titles as well. If you're interested in Boosteroid, you can sign up below. We also have an interview with Boosteroid that we are premiering tomorrow. There are several big announcements in that interview, including... Sorry, no spoilers. A quick update on PlayStation Plus in case you've missed it. PlayStation Plus has now launched in the rest of the world. There are no massive changes in it and in my case it is working fine. Stadia has had an interesting week even though they haven't announced anything officially. First off, 35 games now have got time-based demos on Stadia. Demos are great in the cloud and it's good that Stadia is continuing to push in this regard. Moving on, as first reported in Forex, there seems to be evidence that some instances of Stadia may be running on Nvidia graphics cards. I would recommend caution in regard to this. While some people may think Generation 2 of Stadia may be just around the corner, it could be a couple of different things in play. For example, the Nvidia and Google Cloud offerings in VR, immersive stream for higher power GPUs. If it was for Generation 2 Stadia, there are some factors like compatibility with the Stadia catalogue of games. This is one to keep an eye on. Lastly, Stadia Dosage is reporting that two Atari games seem like they're heading to Stadia soon. These titles are Centipede Recharged and Black Widow. Stadia accidentally linked to the wrong article on Twitter and some eagle-eyed people noticed the URL giving away the games. Our last stories come from Xbox Cloud Gaming. After we posted about the new games coming to Xbox Game Pass, it was announced that mouse and keyboard support will be coming to Xbox later this year. Also, if playing Xbox Cloud Gaming on Edge, you should see some changes as they've added some more clarity. Our final story with Xbox is that they have announced a new tech to reduce latency while playing called Direct Capture. We will have a video on this in the coming days going into a lot more detail. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to help us further, you can become a member and receive early access to videos like our new show, Cloud9. We will also be doing some member giveaways and more. If you want to come and discuss the news and what's happening in the cloud gaming space, check our live show every Wednesday at 8 o'clock UK, 3 p.m. Eastern. You set the direction for in the cloud gaming space for the week. Thanks for watching and we will see you all again soon.